Hi guys, this is Monica and this is going to be one heck of an oily topic. So if you're interested in oils, stay tuned. <laughs> How was that for a hook? Anyways, this is a collaboration video with Marlene Fabin Glam, over 50, and I'm sure you all know who Marlene is, but I just want to let you know that Marlene is one of those very unique, true, kind people. When I was just starting exploring the beauty related videos, meaning that I was starting to do beauty related videos, Marlene and I connected early on. She had a small channel. I had a small channel. We did one of our, my first um, early collab was with Marlene. And you know, that first person you collab with is always going to be special in your mind. And that's Marlene to me. So we collabed. And over the course of time, we got to gab and chat and text each other back and forth. And she is, and I think it's because she's probably, you know, a school teacher, but she is very, very motivating and very inspiring. And when I'm feeling like I don't have the confidence to do something, she's like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And so she boosts me up all the time. And I so appreciate that. So we were texting and I was talking about how I was going to be doing a video and I wanted to tag her in the video. And so we were texting back and forth and I do voice to text. And I'm telling you, I had so many misfires. It was unbelievable. So I told her in this collab video that I'm doing, I'm going to mention the worst text mistake I've ever done. So here goes. And I hope I don't get demonetized by YouTube. But um, many years ago, well not that many because text was fairly new at that point in time. But anyways, a number of years ago, I had been working with somebody and I was showing property, waterfront property. And I was previewing a property that he couldn't get to. And, um, and one of the main concerns on waterfront property, not to go into a whole lot of details, is the docking. So, um, I, he, I was texting him about the condition of the dock and it was a large dock. And so in my text messages, I talked to him and I just texted him. The, the large dock is really solid and firm. And I'm not going to tell you what that was transcribed to be, but I did not catch it. And I actually hit sent. So when he got it, the word doc was not there. I'm not going to tell you, though, what it was. That was my absolute worst texting nightmare. And so I get so frustrated with texting, especially voice to text. But after that, I said, oh, my gosh, I don't think I'm ever going to text again. And now, so here I am today, and that's all I do. That's all I do is text messages. So anyways, I hope you got a chuckle, and I hope you can imagine what word was replaced with doc. I mean, what Doc was replaced with, I should say. I'm not going to say it because I know YouTube will be slapping me. But anyways, on to the collab. Marlene and I were texting back and forth, and we thought it'd be kind of cool. And I have no idea what she's going to talk about, what oil she's going to pick. But we thought it'd be kind of cool to really talk about oils. And um, I have some of my favorite, favorite oils. We're going to talk about, I think, face oils, maybe body oils, or any other type of oils imaginable. So I'm going to start with a staple of mine that I think um, is an amazing, amazing oil and has really helped me health-wise with my diet, with my exercise, with my programs, and of course with my skin and my hair. And you guessed it, those of you know, this is going to be my MCT oil. This is a medium chain triglyceride, whatever. Anyways, it's an excellent, excellent oil. If you research this, you'll know why it's such a super, super, super oil. So I'm not hung up on brands. I buy this one at um, on Amazon, but I've gone into health food stores and bought MCT oil as well. So to me, that's a huge, huge, huge oil. When I was young, I always started to use baby oil to wipe my mascara off and um, and you know I've had st some stories about that in the previous video so I won't bore you by going back into my first experience with that but I went from ba baby oil to mineral oil so you know for many years I would take a q-tip and I would just wipe off my excess mascara using baby oil and then as I got older I would wipe it off using mineral oil and I still use mineral oil to a certain degree today but I think that's also helped me keep a lot of my under eye although I have a lot of under eye wrinkles but I think it's helped me keep a lot of them at bay 
For my eyelashes, I must tell you that having castor oil, and I absolutely love, and I have this, I mix this up myself, but this is a black Jamaican castor oil. I mix it with a little bit of a vitamin E oil, and then I mix it with coconut oil, and I have this little mixture here, and that's my homemade eyelash remedy. So on a couple of nights a week, because I'm on Care Pros for my eyelashes, a couple of nights a week, I, when I don't use Care Pros, I use my homemade remedy for my eyelashes, and I mix that up in equal parts, and then I put it on my eyelashes, and I do believe it helps to condition my eyelashes a lot. I think it makes a big, big difference. And then the other oil that I use in, I just use coconut oil. I try to do oil pulling. Um, I use coconut oil for an awful lot of things. So, you know, if from moisturizer, especially for my hands, etc. I just take the coconut oil, I take it out of the big tub, I put it in here, I keep this by my bedside so I can do my oil pulling if I want or if I need additional moisture. So coconut oil has been amazing to me to the point that I do have a big tub of regular coconut cream. But that's not the oil I just showed you. So that's that's sort of my body oils now when it comes to my face I have bought oils from TJ Maxx that are much cheaper and one of the ones that I have right now from TJ Maxx is a vitamin E and it's a tea tree and a vitamin E I do not like the smell and I think it's the tea tree that I don't like the smell so um, I've used this there's still quite a bit in here, so I don't use that much of it, but I do use it. The other thing that I have bought from TJ Maxx is an organic rosehip oil. So this is rosehip plus. This is, uh, again, organic cold pressed. So getting cold pressed is going to be a big difference. Now, my let me just tell you, I also have from The Ordinary, and I love this, I have The Ordinary's rosehip oil. And for those of you that are going to ask me about the initials. The bottles all look alike to me. So I always take one of those, you know, markers that doesn't, that don't wear off. And I just like, this is rosehip, so I have RH for this. This is squalene. I have an S. I have an M for marula. I have an E, you know, for vitamin E or for, for I should say an A for, and I know I'm going to mess this one up. Aragon. Aragon? Ar Aragon? Argon. Argon, I think it's called. And that's just the way it makes it easier for me to see the, those darn bottles. But anyways, rosehip. I only use rosehip. And I switch the rosehip with cacao oil, depending on which one I have. Right now, I don't have any of the cacao or cacao oil, so I'm using purely rosehip on my neck and into my chest area. So I go down my neck every single night, no matter what, I go down my neck and into my chest area with the rosehip oil. I know it's got a lot of vitamin A. I don't use it on my face. I know a lot of people do. They love it on their face. I, I just don't. I never have. So I the, my rosehip is my neck and my chest. Now I use Retin-A, so I don't really need to have the additional vitamin A of rosehip on my face. So that to me is neck and chest, and that is religious neck and chest. I mean... At, at my age, at 63, you got to be, you know, I mean, you can hide under scarves, which I do a lot, but you got to be taking care of this because this skin is just like really, ugh. So anyways, rosehip oil for that. I love the Jehovah Hoba oil a lot. I think it's, I think it's awesome. It's, um, it's, oops, it's thick, but the consistency absorbs really nice on me. So I'm just going to rub it on my hands. How do you like my, my watch band? Let me tell you about my watch band. Um, I have an Apple Watch. I have the Apple Watch 2. And I get bored with the band. So I actually got this band off of YouTube. Um, sorry, off of Amazon. And it's actually called A-OK. -okay, A and the word OK. And uh, I think... I think it was I think it was about twenty bucks. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I actually got it off of Amazon, and it it came. And I was like, you know, sometimes you buy stuff, and it's like you're so disappointed when you see the reality of it. But it came, and I, I, I love it. I think it's actually, 
I think it's pretty sexy looking actually to me. So um, I think it was like 24 bucks and it wasn't given to me. I, I actually bought it, but I just want to mention it because if you're looking for a replacement band, there are so many different really cool selections on Amazon. You don't have to go to the Apple store and pay a fortune. You can go to Amazon and you can buy these replacements. I did have to take one of the links out and the, it was very easy to do there. They, um, they're made that way so that it would fit my wrist better because I do want it for my fitness level with it. So I did have a question on that and I did want to say that I bought that and I would highly recommend you go to Amazon and if you really want something quality, I mean this is this company has been phenomenal. I will link my band in the description box below. The other oil that I find myself using in the morning, so I have oils I use at night, oils I use in the morning. So my, my Jehovah, Hoba oil is one I use at night a lot and um, I really really love it it's also something that I will put on my hands I'll put it in my arms so I mean you can see I just did it on my hands and it's already absorbed nicely into my skin my skin isn't like feeling greasy or slimy or anything of that nature and the other one that I like a lot is the Ar Aragon Aragon the Aragon and the squalene oils I have in my office and I keep them in there. This is a really, really nice oil. I love it. The marula oil is my morning oil. I have my marula oil I love so much. I love it. And you cannot beat the Ordinary's prices. I love it so much that I already have two backups. Two backups. Because I don't want to run out of my marula oil. So the marula oil is just really nice. It's 100 you know, percent cold pressed. It's virgin marula oil. I love how it feels on my face. It's a heavier oil, um, but it absorbs really nicely into my face. 90% of the time, it is the oil I put all over my face in the morning after I have done all my serums and all that stuff and before I add my sunblock because I use my 50 SPF sunblock, which is the Australian gold. The, usually the marula oil is what I have on my skin at that point in time that I put my sunblock on. Now the squirreline oil, and I have a, I have a backup. I have a backup, guys. I have a backup. The squirreline oil is heavenly. It really is heavenly. This I use Typically, after I've applied my makeup, my foundation, I will pat this under my eyes. I, you know, I'm still on a concealer quest. I know many people made a recommendation, but I haven't gone out and bought them yet. But I will tap that under my eyes. I absolutely love the squirreline. I think it's, it's a nice oil. This is one I have in the office as well. I have both the Aragon and the squirreline in the office. The squirreline I use 99% of the time to touch up. And I will touch up my face right over my makeup with this. If I'm really peeling a lot and I've taken off the, you know, the area, the skin, you know, the, I've wiped off where my peeling is, sometimes I will buff it out a little bit and then I will add the oil. And if I need more than that, I will sometimes add the Aragon buttons. So this oil, if I have to name my favorites right now, I mean, I'm not talking my body oils and I'm not talking for my eyelashes because I really love the black Jamaican castor oil and the vitamin E mixture with my coconut oil for my eyelashes. So that's separate. But if I was just talking my face oils, I would pick my these two, the marula oil and the squirreline. These are my two that I would pick if I could only take two face oils with me where I was going. It would be these two. And the rose hip. Again, that would be for my neck, so I wouldn't consider that one of the two that I would have to take for my face because I never touch my face with it. It just goes on my neck. So I don't know. I'm really curious to see what Marlene is going to say about her favorite oils because I'm always open to more suggestions for oils. So I, um, but yeah, those are my top favorites. If you haven't tried any of them, ordinary prices are absolutely fantastic. So I would definitely recommend looking into doing that, into checking that out. So I think, I think I've covered all my oils. So how is that for an oily topic? <laughs> I think it was pretty cool. So everyone asked last time, because I have this on, what's up with my hair? So uh, I have a little fake bun on my head, and the fake bun is uh, a a little bun that I bought, and I actually bought this one in Ulta. 
it's bigger than the smaller one that I bought, which I've shown you these two that I have. Uh, these I bought at Sally's. So this one is a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's, you know, it's a little bigger. And it's kind of straighter, so it's more of a messy uh, bun look. And um, I like it. I actually, I like my hair up. I will, I'll go out with this. I'll go to work with this. This does, this look is fine for me with my hair up. And even with these two little ones, when I added these, these were okay. It's just, I think the curlier, this was a little bit longer and curlier. Um, where this was almost, you could get away with it thinking it was more my color, my hair. Uh, as opposed to these two. So, yeah, I really like the bun a lot. I can't remember what I paid for this, but if I find it, I will link it for you. I did get it in Ulta, and you got to love your Ulta points. At least I do. So I know this is a super duper long, long, long video, but that's the scoop on my oils and my bun, and I hope, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and please make sure you check out Marlene's channel, and please support all the women in the mature community because, as I said in my previous videos, the brands don't hear our voices. And with your support, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, the brands will eventually hear our voices. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. And I think this will be up before Thanksgiving. So I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye, guys.